Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I made a video on the 1st of February 2023 regarding Bakhmut, stating that probably Bakhmut already fell and it's, uh, it's been captured by, um, by the Russians. And um, I made that video based on the experience I accumulated with uh, mass media, war, and specifically this war uh, in particular, and uh, with the human being, propaganda and uh, you know, uh, our way of dealing with loss. So what happened there? Um, the Ukrainian media, I got to uh, uh, learn, is bringing you the information a little bit in a delayed form. So something happens today, let's say they um, lose a battle somewhere, they will not tell you today they lost the battle. They will tell you that in about between five and seven days, when they will say they will confirm they lost the battle. By that time, they're going to use all kind of articles using um, all kind of uh, little information, like for instance, Gigi died today, was shot, all right? And then they say, well, the first article will be, Gigi got in a little bit of trouble, boom. The next day, well, Gigi got uh, injured, boom. The next day, hey, Gigi has a little bit of stomach flu. And then by the time of five, six, seven days, they're going to say, well, Gigi was shot, all right, on the front, right there. So in the meantime, in those five to seven days, they use euphemisms. And uh, I know that you might know what uh, euphemism is, I mean, it's very obvious. I'm going to use it from uh, um, a dictionary so we know exactly what we're talking about. And uh, here it is, and for the YouTube as well, right here. Euphemism. All right. Euphemism. Euphemism. It's a mild or indirect word or expression substan substituted for one considered to be too harsh or too blunt when referring to something unpleasant or embarrassing. So this is the euphemism. And now let's go to the articles that I'm uh, going to read some euphemisms because they were used by the Ukrainians right here. The Kiev Independent on Sunday, February 5, today, 2023. This is the title. UK Defense Ministry. Bakhmut increasingly isolated, end quote, as key roads come under Russian fire control. Did you hear that? as key roads come under Russian fire control. And let's go to another article, which basically is the same one, but uh, other uh, <clears throat> euphemisms. This is from Ukrainska Pravda. Situation in Bakhmut getting more challenging for Ukrainian forces, British intelligence. And it says here that uh, as British defense intelligence reports, Russian forces have made the situation more difficult for the defenders of Bakhmut over the past week. The report states that Russia has continued to make small advances in its attempt to encircle the town of Bakhmut. I suspect that the town is already encircled. But remember, they're not going to tell you that now. I think that the town, the, the Ukrainians already pulled back. But hey, and uh, the, the words that I would consider here, you know, kind of like euphemisms, you know, more challenging as saying, oh, they lost. Uh, or here, increasingly isolated, instead, instead of saying uh, surrounded, encircled, you know. Um, yeah, Bakhmut increasingly isolated. How about encircled? As key roads come under Russian fire. Blocking the roads, how about that? You see how these guys use this weasel way of saying things? Now let's read this article and see what they say. Russian troops have continued to make small advances. Probably they make big advances. But anyway, in an attempt to encircle in an attempt. So they give you the little thing, you know, Gigi just got a little accident. That's where we are right now. Gigi is already dead, but they talk, talk about Gigi just having an accident. They are at that point. Remember, today is the fifth. Probably by, uh, by the seventh, these guys will um, confirm that Bakhmut fell, which actually everything was clear about seven days ago or more. In its daily intelligence update, the ministry pointed out that two main roads into Bakhmut are likely threatened by direct fire following the Russian advances. Now, do you think that uh, uh, British intelligence, which, you know, is going to say all the best things for the Ukrainians and uh, nothing, uh, you know, do you think that they use this kind of, uh, oh, it's likely 
threatening. Why do you think they say that? They are not going to say, well, they're done. Why? For obvious reason. The Kremlin-backed mercenary Wagner group highly liked, likely, highly likely seized a, cord, a subordinate route. So the Wagner group highly likely seized a subordinate route. No, uh, probably already seized it uh, three days ago. That links Bakhmut and Siversk, some 30 kilometers to the south, to the north. I'm sorry, what the hell? <laughs> And I'm qu quoting, while multiple altern altern alternative cross-country supply routes remain available to Ukrainian forces, Bakhmut is increasingly isolated. A uh, translation uh, encircled. The ministry said, uh, the Wagner Group, Russia's most high-profile mercenary group, has played a leading role in the battles of Bakhmut area alongside the Russian military. Okay, first time military now we have them using thousands of poorly trained convicts recruited to fight against Ukraine. All right, so let's read this one. I was crying for about, I don't know, a few months already that these guys do not use the word Russian military or Russian army, but instead they use Russian troops, Russian forces. This is what they use. And I wondered why is because uh, the Russian army is obviously working to, to working fighting alongside the auxiliaries, which are the, you know, mercenaries, volunteers, um, volunteers from Donetsk, from Luhansk, from, you know, the occupied territories, the occupying themselves, let's put it this way, however you want to call it, uh, getting their Ukrainian territory, use euphemisms here and double speak, uh, new speak, however. Is that, is that why? This is the, I think one of the first times, I think it's the first time when I read Russian military. I didn't see a uh, Russian army yet. So, hey, uh, what's that? Uh, Kiev independent. Make sure next time you put uh, Russian army, okay? Uh, and that's the first uh, little euphemism here uh, or whatever they used. Not used, uh, not euphemism actually. They, they used uh, a term that I didn't read before in, in their uh, reports. Now, he says that alongside, first, the Russian, the Wagner group, Supposedly, according to Ukrainian uh, media that I covered in some videos before, was kicked out of the Operation Bakhmut after they uh, uh, took over Soledar, which is a little bit north east of Bakhmut. So that, that, that was an article that I read from um, uh, the Ukrainian media. I made a video on that. And now it seems like, no, wait a second, they actually uh, fought uh, strongly in Bakhmut. And he says, the, this Wagner group, group used thousands of poorly trained convicts. So, I would be ashamed to say that. If these guys kick my butt and they're using poorly trained convicts recruited to fight me and I'm losing, what does that say about my condition? If they're poorly trained and they win, I don't know. You know what I mean? Another doesn't make sense, my friends. So, let's see what these guys are saying further here. All right, the mercenary group has been accused of human rights abuses in Ukraine. Accused is not uh, proven, okay? Accused is I accuse that someone did something. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. So, it's a long way before someone gets accused and someone gets convicted. All right, it's a process. So as of now, the mercenary group was accused of human rights abuses in Ukraine, Syria, Libya, the Central African Republic, Sudan, and Mozambique, including torture and extrajudicial killings. So this is all, look here, accused. So you can use here whatever, but they already put it here like they are already convicted, including torture and extrajudicial killings. I don't know, no, I don't know that they don't know. Because if you know, you would, uh, uh, know, bring the evidence. Now, Ukrainska Pravda comes with the same thing in February 5, 2023. Situation in Bakhmut getting more challenging. I uh, know uh, we're losing, how about that, for Ukrainian forces, British intelligence. Well, on the other hand, the British intelligence, intelligence, they are the same ones that uh, provided the intelligence for the Iraq war. You remember that one? Uh huh. So, okay, if someone lies to you or someone provides you a certain kind of uh, information that, you know, let's say you have a friend or you have an institution that provides you with uh, erroneous information, what are you going to do? Are you going to believe? 
that institution or that person again? No, that person or institution needs a, a, long, uh, a long time to uh, redeem itself by telling the truth a lot of times after that. So, um, a, British defense, a British defense intelligence report as Russian forces have made the situation more difficult for the defenders of Bakhmut over the past week. Uh, I know that because I know you guys. The report states that Russia has continued to make small advances in its attempts to encircle the town of Bakhmut. Again, little by little, they tell you, if you know how to read between the lines here, you get the truth. But you have, you have to know their rhythm, the way they operate. The M03 and the H32, uh, the two main roads in the city of Ukrainian defenders, are likely now both threatened by direct fire following the Russian advan advances. Well, so they advance a little, right? They said, right, but they're little, small advances, but so, so small that they're very important. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the M03 and H32, the two main roads into the city of Ukraine defenders are likely now both threatened by direct fire. They're not saying, oh, they're taken, <laughs> following Russian small advances. Earlier in the week, Wagner para paramilitary forces, highly likely, again, no, this is the same as the other article, seized a subordinate route which links Bakhmut to the town of Siversk, while multiple alternat alternative cross-country supply routes remain available to Ukrainian forces. Bakhmut is increasingly isolated, <coughs> slash, uh, um, encircled. <laughs> okay. Earlier, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine reported that Russia deployed all its forces to break through the Ukrainian line of defense and surround, there you have it, Bakhmut as well as launching an offensive on the Liman front. All its forces. I thought they were just the poor trained mercenaries over there. No? So this is how I interpret what these weasels uh, are saying. And I'm not interpreting like that because I'm just a tard or because that's the way I want to uh, make a point. They trained me to understand their weasel way of reporting, all right, and their timing. So it's not like I just woke up, uh, you know, um, in the morning and say, you know what, I think the Ukrainian media and the British media, when they report about this kind of uh, events, they just postpone about five to seven days. I, I didn't do that. They, by, obs uh, by reading their, uh, their articles, by memorizing, by looking at, at patterns, I realized, hey, this one, this is the terms they used, then, 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 and then after five to seven days, they confirmed. Even if the Russians said it before that or others, mm -mm, they did not confirm it. I understand it. I understand you don't, want to, you don't want to confirm your losses or anything, but the successes, they immediately uh, confirmed them or trumpet them, which is, you know, understandable. All sides do that, okay? So it's not like, oh, the Ukrainians only do that. No, human beings do that in general. It's a psychological, you know, uh, um, reason for that. You know, you don't want to uh, destroy the morale of your uh, uh, fighters. And, you know, um, you always uh, point at you and your qualities, uh, you know, uh, self-attribution uh, uh, principle. When you are uh, winning or you succeed in something, it's because your qualities, you did something, you know. Uh, when you're losing, it's because something else, someone else, euphemisms, some reasons, justifications, weasels. But that usually happens with people that are cowards because they're afraid to say, yeah, man, I lost, but I'm going to get better. I'm going to show you I'm going to get better. And you show it. And if you don't say, well, I tried at least. I tried my best. That's all I could. That's all I could have done. That's all I did. I tried my, I did my best. Like I can't slam. I cannot slam dunk. I'm going to try my best. But if I don't even try. So I'm saying, well, I can't. I will try. You train, you practice, you practice, and you jump, you, and you might touch the, the basket, but you can't slam down. Okay, that's your limit. And you accept it. What are you supposed to do? Did you try your best? Your best, you train. Did you train at your best of your abilities? Yes. Congratulations. This is, these are your limits. Physical, mental limits, uh, and all that. So... I think that already, as I said, Bakhmut uh, has been in uh, big trouble some days ago. And look at the euphemisms these guys are using and the terminology. Bakhmut is going to be done in a few days uh, officially. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart. 
Look for the truth and be just.